Welcome to a new edition of Two Year Olds in Training for the Harness Edge. I'm Harold Howe with Dr. Ian Moore at Tomico Training Center here in Ontario. And Ian, we're going to talk two year olds, but just before we begin, State Treasurer. Everybody's curious what the status on him is as we're ready to go into May. So you're back from Florida with him, and what's the story? Well, he seems to have trucked up fine at the end of the week, last week, and he's in to go on Saturday. I just entered him this morning. And how do you feel about him, given this class isn't getting any easier for him? No, uh, the age horses, it looks like there's going to be a lot of good ones around this year, right at this point anyway. Um, so it's going to be a lot tougher than last year, but... Uh, he, they'll know he's around. He seems to be, if possible, he, I said it every year for the last two years, he seems to be stronger and better again as a seven-year-old this year. I had my hands full in the qualifier down there a week ago or so with him. And um, he seems very fit and, and healthy right now and straighter than he has been in the past. So uh, hopefully he'll be good enough to go with him. Great. Well, here's a bunch we're going to talk about. They're going to aspire to be like him. Let's start off with Classic Pro. This is a shadow play, 45,000 out of Lexington. Very nice colt. He's uh, real racy. Um, he's like a machine right now. You just, If you want to go, you just let him go. If you want to stop, you just take a hold of him, basically. So uh, he, he's a very nice gated colt, big and strong, but not too big. We did cut down in size this year. We've had a little some issues with soundness with big ones in recent years, and I decided to go a different way this year. Uh, but he is a good size, and he's solid. He's out of an Australian smear, and uh, so I'm not sure what that's going to bring us. Uh, at this point, it just seems like how fast he can go, basically, is what it's going to come down to. How about Shadow Ruse? This is another Shadow Play Colt, 75,000 of the Forest City Cell. I haven't had a chestnut for probably uh, almost 30 years. Um, but he's a, a real nice colt. That's where the Rouge came from. We just changed his name. And um, uh, very solid. He goes with Classic Pro. Those two want to race each other when they're training. And love his attitude. Love both of those two. Their attitudes and uh, nice skated as well. So we're, we're very uh, optimistic for him. Another graduate of the Forest City Sale was Vivid Play. Another Shadow Play colt. He's a nice colt as well. He's out of a Camelock mare. He's a bit smaller, although he's grown recently, got a bit taller. Um, he was training with the first two we spoke of, and those first two just uh, maybe a little too much for him right now. So I had to back off with him a bit. I go the first trip with him. I've given him a little bit of time, and I'm going to find somebody else to train him with because uh, all the other colts seem to be at a little bit of a higher level than him right now. But... Um, other than that, there's nothing wrong with him. I'm just, he's just one that's going to take a little bit longer, more time, that's all. Now, down in Harrisburg, you jumped the fence and you moved away from Shadow Play and you picked up a well said colt, spoken word, 40,000. Uh, he was the first of about three well said that I like. I went there with the mindset that I was going to get one this year. We've tried the last couple of years. Uh, one prior to him actually went for about three times as much as I thought he would, so I didn't get him. Uh, this guy is out of an older mare, Falcon Sealster mare, but um, he, he's really come a long way. We had a hard time gating him, and he was just fair and wanting to go. But uh, out there today when I was jogging him, as you saw with your video, I'm just hanging right on to him. He, he just wants to roll right along now. He's gotten very racy and seems to be developing into a nice colt. He's a little bit smaller, but um, he's all there and, and nice gated and ready to roll. You also picked up a roll with Joe Cole called Twin B Cowboy in Harrisburg, 35,000. He's as rugged and as tough as they come out of a Panderosa mare. Uh, we like him as well. Uh, he was good from the get-go. Now, he was sick for a, a long portion of the winter with a coughing, a deep cough, and um, we treated him with many different things, and nothing seemed to really work 100% until I did a lung wash on him and, and got to the root of the problem. And... Um, it appears to be over, although I heard him coughing in the stall today, but he's, uh, he's as good as any of them that we have right now and very, very rugged and tough. He's, he's just got a tough kind of an attitude, I guess. So, And we've got a sports writer called Sports Leader, 53,000 out of the Standard Bird Canada sale. Uh, yeah, my partner Scott Horner bought him with another partner, Peter Milligan. Um, and, uh, I took a piece of her and, uh, 
she was uh, just fair shape body wise when we got her, but she's really picked up and and she's developed into a very very nice filly at this point in time. I have two fillies and they are so competitive that neither one of them wants to let the other one get ahead in front. So I like that, and that's good to have in a filly. And those two are actually faster than the Colts right now. And then there's Southern Heart, a shadow play filly, 58,000 of the four city cell. Yeah, very dominant filly. The the two of them turn out together, they train together, and they, they don't really hate each other, but they're very competitive against each other. And it's easy to see when you train them. You just hang on to them. No whips required, and away you go. And this uh, year you've come back from Florida to Tomico Training Center, and um, which everybody knows was purchased and and been a ton of renovations done so far more to come and i guess what you're thinking about making the move well so far we're very happy uh it's uh i'm extremely happy actually everything there's a lot of things that are still ongoing it's a work in progress but you can see things happening every day uh we're very happy with the barn that we have here and the track is uh, is is going to be really good. They're still awaiting the arrival of Greg Kuhn to finish off the upper turn. There needs a little bit of work on it, but uh, other than that, the surface is good. And I plan on training the six I have in Saturday here tomorrow, and perhaps the babies on Friday. And we're not far from Mohawk, so um, we're very pleased at this point. It's uh, a move that I haven't regretted at this point. Right, and, and you're going to sorry. And, and you know, I <clears throat> I would recommend it to others as well at this point. It's yeah. it's. Uh, He's built us four brand new board paddocks and gave us pretty well everything we've asked for. So, right. and you're going to go into the veterinary practice here. Um, that's the plan. Yeah, I'm, I, as everybody knows, I do work with Dr. Dave Goodrow in the summertime, and um, as soon as there's some more clientele around here, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll probably start using the veterinary clinic. I know they're doing some res- renovations on there now, so. That'll uh, be good for me since it's all here, not far to go, and so on. So, sure. Okay, Ian, well, good stuff. Thanks very much for your time, and good luck in the weeks ahead. Thank you very much. All right. Harold Howe with Dr. Ian Moore, two-year-olds in training.